Let's see how we can use Excel's data validation tool to provide a list of film names and then pick one of those films and have an image function in conjunction with Excel's lookup return that film's movie poster. We'll also provide a little bit of error checking in here so if the user doesn't pick a poster, we don't get an error in the cell. Let's start with a table named Films. Now this table has a list of the film names that the user will be picking from. This is what data validation will use in its drop-down list. The next thing we'll need is a list of image URLs. Excel's image function unfortunately cannot point to locally stored image files. So you can't just point to an image on your C drive. The images have to be uploaded to some accessible location like a website, an FTP site, or a SharePoint site. So let's write a little test formula just so we can see what the structure and syntax is for the image function. We'll start with equals image. The first argument is the source. Now you can either type in the URL directly but it's probably easier to put the URL in a cell and then just point to it like cell A4, comma, any alt text information that you want to supply. This is something you could provide to assist people with visual disabilities to help them understand what's in the image. We'll skip that for now. The sizing, you can have the image fit to the cell but not lose its aspect ratio, or you could fill the cell completely so the image takes on the size and dimension of the cell, or you could use its original size or a custom size where you define the height and the width. We'll go with fit cell, that way we don't distort the image. Close parentheses, hit enter, and now we have that image. Of course the image is a bit small because it's taking on the size of the cell. But if we were to expand the height of that cell, then the image is a bit easier to see. So now that we understand the structure of the image function, let's go over to our interface. So I have a data validation drop down list. And this is a list of all of the friendly names of the movies. You wouldn't want to give the user the list of the actual URLs because they wouldn't understand what they mean. So if I go up to data, and then data validation, we can see that we're pulling the list from cells B2 through B51 of that other sheet. And that will be this list right here. Now we wanna take that user's entry, find it in this film name column, but then jump over to the image URL column and return the actual image URL to the image function. So we'll start with this large cell here. This is where our movie poster will eventually land. So let's just start with the lookup function to see if we can take the user selection and bring back the image URL. So we'll say equals, I'm going to use the new XLOOKUP function, but you could use VLOOKUP, index match, whatever works for you. My lookup value will be this cell here, which I've named selected film, comma. We're going to look that up in the image URLs table under film name, comma. And we want to return the image URL. Close parentheses, enter. And right now we're getting an error. And that's only because we haven't picked a film. So of course, if we pick a film, then that will bring back the image URL. Now I don't actually want to show the image URL. So let's go back to our XLOOKUP function and we'll wrap this in an image function. So the source will be whatever URL was returned by the XLOOKUP. We'll not be using any alt text and we want our sizing to fit the cell. Close parentheses, enter. And now we have a movie poster. If we test it, we'll go back, pick a different movie poster, and everything seems to be working. Now, if the user does not pick a film, we don't want to see that pound NA result. So we'll take the image function and we'll wrap it inside an if NA function. And this just says, if it's an NA, in other words, if the user did not pick a film, then display the message, select a film from the list above. So it's a little bit of a hint to the user that they need to come up here and pick a film from our data validation list. Now, if you want to see all the movie posters at once, we could go back to the original table and create a new column called image where we'll use the image function to point to the current rows image URL and just repeat this down the entire table. Now, given that the rows are not very tall, it's difficult to see these images. So I'm going to go ahead and select these rows and then maybe resize them to something like this. And now we could scroll down the list and see all the movie posters at the same time. This isn't necessary to perform the actual lookup, but it's kind of nice to be able to just look at all the posters in one hit. So here's our function broken down and color coded. The XLOOKUP performs the actual conversion of the user selection into a URL. This is fed to the image function who goes out and extracts the image from that URL and displays it in the list. The whole thing is wrapped inside of an if NA, just in case the user doesn't pick a film, we can display a nice hint to tell them to go do so. Feel free to download this file from the link supplied in the video description. 
and let us know where you might be able to use this feature. And feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you have an idea for an upcoming video. Thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.